All right, everyone, let's continue with our uh, e-commerce website. This is Victor Campos. I've got a, the WP e-commerce plugin installed on my WordPress site and under the store settings I've looked at a bunch of these tabs and what they do. Um, let's look at the last tab presentation to see how you can change the look and feel of your site. So we've got button type, add to cart or buy now. Buy now only works for PayPal standard. So we're going to be using PayPal later on, but here you have the option to uh, do an add to cart or buy now. And I recommend the default because that way people can buy more than one product at once. Uh, we can turn on or off the add to cart button. Default is fine. If you've got product ratings, you can show those. If you've set up stock availability, uh, that is, if you've set yourself up that you've got 10 of a particular product, you can display that. Uh, the defaults here are pretty much fine. Display per item shipping. When we'll look at shipping, this will make more sense. At the moment, when you look at a product, you can click on the title to show you more description. Let me show that what that means. Here we've got the title as an active link to show you more more of a description which you may or may not want and you can deactivate that right there. Display link in title. You can add a quantity field to each product so people can select more than one quantity. Now here's where the plugin begins making its money. The plugin is free and for 95% of people it'll it'll be all that they need. The last 5% need some content that uh, is not free. For example, um, how do you display your products? The default is fine, but if you want other layouts, you have to purchase them. Check the link to see what the current prices are. If you select grid, you have options that you can further customize. As I said on a previous video, you want to organize your products by categories and you can dis choose to display those categories or not. At the moment we've got one product and it's displayed on our main products page but as your site gets more complicated with more products you can have it display all your products or once you've begun setting up categories you can make it display a particular category. How do you want to organize things? Time uploaded, name, price, or drag and drop. You can organize things directly. You have more options for organization of your products and groups. Again, the defaults are fine. You can always leave a setting, test your site, change the setting, and then see which version you like. Again, along those same lines, you can show subcategories or not. You can replace the title at the top of your page with the product and category name. The default works well. You can have featured products displayed above current products. So there could be one product that's always at the top while the other ones change. Where do we display the cart when we actually make a purchase? Uh, we saw that we can go over to the checkout page and it's displayed there. But if you want it to be to show up in a in a sidebar or in a footer, for example, we can use its widget. Let me take a detour to explain what that means. Right now, if we go to pages, checkout. The checkout widget is found here. Simply 
adding the short code shopping cart anywhere in the site will display the shopping cart another way to do it is if we look at appearance widgets we can say where in the design for example we've got the main widget area where in the design do we want to display our our shopping cart if we see here WPEC shopping cart I want to put it in the let's see appears on posts and pages in the sidebar or appears in the footer section of the site just to show you as an example if we look at our main site here's the footer notice we've got categories recent posts etc which are found here recent posts categories etc if I add the shopping cart widget to the main widget area save refresh now I've got a section here which will display my shopping cart and if I add another it dynamically adds itself to the to the widget so depending on our theme we could have a, an ever-present shopping cart uh, if I navigate to any other page in the site it's still visible there by adding the widget to a widget area that's what this means here how do you want to display your cart location and if you know a little bit of code in PHP you can even set that up manually if you are doing postage and tax and such you can display that when you set up categories you can give them descriptions and you can display the descriptions on screen do you want to display thumbnails for your categories you can display the number of products per category You can set up your category in a grid view, but I believe that requires the the purchase of the grid view, which we saw up here, product display. You can control the size of your various thumbnails. Do, you, do your uh, thumbnails get cropped or resized? Do you want to even show thumbnails? Do you want the light box effect to, to take effect when you click a product like this? If you click a preview, notice you get a larger picture, that's a light box. And you've got a couple of options here, and you can add more with more plugins. We've got color box and a thick box. If you have many products, perhaps you want to divide into pages, so that's pagination. And where do you want to display the, uh, the the page numbers? If you select yes, how many per page would you display? You can set up an account at Intense Debate to create a commenting system, and you can turn that on here. So again, there's a lot of options that you can set. They're pretty self-explanatory. If they don't make sense, try turning one on, see what happens. And see if you like the result. You can, of course, at the top right, you have the option to go to help and read a lot more documentation on this particular plugin. So, WP e Commerce is very powerful, and we're learning the various nuances of it. We still have a few other things to set up in the cart, so come back on our next video to see that.